Thank you, English language, for being an archive of derived, revised, hypocritical, analytical guidelines. An array, array of artificial assumptions of the American articulation in which I comes before E except after C. A language where between is for two and among is for three or more, and there are three different ways to spell four. A categorization of constant contradictions dictating my diction because it's either or or neither nor. Or the fact that words have a silent E, but I have to say it's I, not it's me. Where I could say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but I can't say funner. And if a sentence doesn't have conjunctions and commas, it's a runner. Thank you, English language, for being a phonetic penitentiary of principle and procedure. A close fit of confinement for my creativity and my culture. The enslaving shackle to my footloose tongue. This language incarcerates your intellect, infecting you with infection. It's insanitation and marination with your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs. But this language also frees you. It allows you to describe a Sunday looking at the trees as I watch as the trees breathe when really it's only the breeze. When talking can appease your psychological drought, words allow you to write your way out. They are power and comfort. They mediate and meditate. Words are the middle passage from your thoughts to the rest of the world. As the dead poets say, poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Words are the only tool we can use to say, I'm here, and I exist, and I'm going to contribute to my verse, Mr. Whitman, and I'll be a hitman, a constituted Cupid, Chaucer as my Venus, spoken word as my bow and arrow, aiming and firing, taking down anyone in the way of emancipation of my voice. Let my words escape this unlawful imprisonment. Allow the impulse of my thoughts to transfer the narrative of these lyrics. Let this proclamation ring through your ears. I am here, and I exist, and I'm going to contribute to my verse because no matter how vexatious the English language may be, it's the only way I could show the world the real me. Thank you.